Imposter syndrome doesn't just happen when you're in your 20s. It's something that can happen throughout as you go, as you enter in new spaces. And so I use a lot of just my time of preparing. I prepare myself for the interview. I, I look up everyone. I research everything. I prepare my notes. I don't want to sound like a, a robot going into the interview, but I, I read, I write out things that I'm going to say and get familiar with words, get familiar with terms, get familiar with my story. And one of the things that one of my professors always taught us, um, and we had a professional development class in, in business school, and it was around knowing your story. And when you are confident in your story, you're able to tell other people your story and they're, and those people will then listen. So I think, you know, you prepare for the interview, you're doing all those right things, but I think knowing your story and getting comfortable with that um, and being able to adjust and flex your story where needed, because, you know, not every role will want you to require some, you know, want you to require different things. And so I say really owning and knowing your story, um, what well, helps me to feel confident in these spaces and as I as you talk to different people and interview with different people.